Hey guys, so uh, lately I've been really busy doing a lot of lawn assessments, so I kind of want to walk you through on how I diagnose these. Um, got a complaint from this customer saying a uh, little dissatisfied uh, with some of the weeds that they've been having and also some of the color issues they've been having. Um, their last service was about a month and a half ago because they tentatively uh, wanted to cancel uh, services and uh, they've just kind of described us that the problems have just been getting worse. So. We offer free lawn assessments. So that's what I'm here to do, to do today. So let's go check it out. So the first thing I, I do is I kind of check out the color. So the color color's decent. Uh, I wouldn't say great. Um, just at first glance, I can kind of see that we're dealing with uh, some excess grass inside of the grass, and we just call this thatch. And it's kind of uh, clouding the color a little bit. Um, these type of issues I can't do anything about. Um, they're going to have to power rake it if they want that really, really, really nice color. The other problem is that's going to deter the product from getting to the floor because, well, the soil itself, because I can't, we use a spray and I can't uh, just automatically get it down with all that dead grass in the way. So the first recommendation I'm going to make is... Uh, that they start bagging all their clippings and if and doing a late fall power rake. Now these circles are kind of odd. Um, every now and then we see this. This is generally uh, a symptom of necrotic ring spot. Some of these, this one looks like a dog urine spot. It's a little bit too circular. I don't like the color. The color is really, really, really orange base. Um, Although I have an idea of what's going on, I want to see if there's any alternative symptoms. So I'm going to do what's called a pull test or a tug test. And you can see the grass is just coming up, which tells me that we're dealing with some sort of bug issue. Now, you can clearly see that little speck right here. Uh, that's a casing from a sod webworm. Uh, so we know Mother Nature, she doesn't, uh, she doesn't like to tolerate dead items very much. So she sends her bugs in kind of kind of clean things up so we're just going to keep looking another necrotic ring spot a necrotic ring spot is kind of interesting it typically comes from uh, overuse of ureic acids uh, it can also be spread from lawn aeration so you want to be very careful again i got some more of those sod webworm cases just sitting in there i'll see if i can find a live one for you um at this point, I'm going to grab my soil probe, kind of check for watering and see why the grass had originally died. I'd say 90% of the lawns I go to, watering is the primary culprit. You can see this is a bigger area. Got my, my tools of the trade. I got a screwdriver and a soil probe. Um, this area probed out. At one point, this was lack of water. Um, let's kind of... Let's kind of get in here and do our tug test and you can see this just comes right out oh got some friends here these little guys are called cranberry girdlers uh, they look just like grubs but you can see uh, there's a couple of them together i don't know if you can see this other guy right here um, the fix for this Oh, there's another one there too. And these guys travel fast because they're social. Um, fix for this is we use a topical insecticide uh, that's a repellent. And then we're going to use a systemic insecticide called a non-repellent. Kind of kill those guys off. Uh, so we know we've got some, some issues with bugs going on. Um, the pattern is what I don't like. And this is what tells me that it's lack of water. Um, the color being kind of brown, that dingy brown, uh, is typically a symptom of lack of water as well. The orangish tinge to it would be the fertilizer, the nitrogen kind of burning because it's not going anywhere. Um, but just kind of wanted to show you guys a little bit of what I do and what I go through. Uh, if you guys have any questions, uh, shoot me an email or or hit the comments section and we'll talk to you soon.